Father, I just thank you again for um, getting us here today. Um, uh, we need to find a new uh, sanctuary for us soon, Father. Today, I just uh, um, give us the wisdom and, and the kind of place, Father, that we um, need our needs, Father, just be able to uh, uh, find the, the location soon, Father, and uh, help us to. Uh, Thank you for the you know, brothers and sisters who are here, Father, this, uh, for the commitment to this church and for everything that they do for, for us here, Father. And uh, just be with Pastor John. Just give his message, Father. Um, just be with him and just speak to us through him. Just, uh, bless this message we're about to receive. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, can everyone please stand up? We're going to recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered in the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of the God, God Father, our Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the great and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Church, the communion of saints, the resurrection of our body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. Today's a Bible scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12 through 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12 through 17. Since this new way gives us uh, such confidence we can be very bold. We are not like Moses who put a veil over his face so the people of Israel would not see the glory even though it was destined to fade away. But the people's minds were hardened and to this day whenever the old covenant is being read the same veil covers their minds so they cannot understand the truth. And this veil can be removed only by believing in Christ. Yes, even today when they read Moses' writings their hearts are covered with that veil and they do not understand. Whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away, for the Lord is the Spirit, and whenever the Spirit of the Lord is there, we have freedom. Amen. 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 Good afternoon. God loves you. Yeah, God bless you. Just bless. Too loud, too loud, too loud. Too loud. Bless you. God loves you. Oh, God loves you. Too loud. Lower, lower, little bit. Volume. Volume. God bless you. 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 Can you lower the volume a little bit? Can you lower the volume a little bit? <laughs> So how's your weekend? I know, how's your weekend? 
What do you know about my <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, when we, you know, our hearts are hardened, how can we soften our hearts? What do you do? <laughs> Bang it. <laughs> what makes our hearts harden? So we cannot even think about ourselves, what we are doing. <laughs> Stress? Environment? Or people? What makes so hard? What makes us blind not to see anything? <laughs> See, one of the things Paul is talking about in chapter 3, what is it? You know, we've been uh, through the problems in the church in Corinth. They had a lot of problems, right? But now 2 Corinthians specifically, they rejected apostleship. Paul is not from the Lord, in other words. He himself anointed, anointed. So he's not a real one. He's a fake one. So why should we listen to him? That kind of uh, false teaching was in the church. But behind there, the false teaching, there was something that made them to think. Paul is not right. So he's giving us an illustration of Moses. So when you back, go back to Old Testament, the Exodus chapter 34. Chapter 34 of Exodus. You know, the, this, this thing was placed on the top of the mountain, Sinai, when Moses uh, confronted God and God gave him a covenant. So when we go down to verse 29, 27, the Lord said to Moses, write down all these instructions, for they represent the terms of the covenant I'm making with you and with Israel. So, 28, Moses remained there on the mountain with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. In all that time, he ate no bread and drank no water. And the Lord wrote the terms of the covenant, the Ten Commandments, and the stone tablets. And then 29, when Moses came down Mount Sinai carrying the two stone tablets inscribed with the terms of the covenant, he wasn't aware that his face had become radiant because he had spoken to the Lord. So when Aaron and the people of Israel saw the radiance of Moses' face, they were afraid to come near him. Then when we go down, uh, verse 32, Three, when Moses finished speaking with them, the congregation, he covered his face with a veil. But whenever he went into the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he would remove the veil until he came out again. So, Paul is re referring people to go back and remember when the Lord gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The radiant because he met God face to face. So he didn't know that. He, he had a radiant on his face. So when he came down, people saw the glory of God and they fell down. But anyway, the radiance of his face would remain for how many days? Bible didn't mention that. <laughs> but as we all know, it will eventually fade away.